Okay, teachers, so today I'm going to show you how to access your Science Fusion resources on the iPad because uh, we did finally get that working. So the first thing you need to do um, is make sure that you have Adobe Reader installed. Um, not exactly sure why, but this somehow triggers Safari to open the resources correctly. Um, so go into your app store and find Adobe Reader and make sure you install that it's free. So once you have that open, you can go back into Safari, go into Think Central and log in. I'm logged in as a teacher and then we're going to go to resources. And we're going to filter for science and then I'm going to go to teacher resources and when I do that notice it opens a new tab for the teacher resources the science fusion teacher access the original page is still back here where we uh, opened up our teacher resources it opened up a brand new tab that's important because when we go uh, into these resources, this is where it's going to open those resources back here on this tab. So for example, um, let's go into Earth Resources and let's do Unit Assessment and let's just um, take Unit Assessment Online Access or Unit Test Online Access. Now it does not look like anything is happening. But back here on this original tab is where it is opened up, which is very confusing and misleading because <laughs> you wouldn't know it happened unless you remembered to go back there. So I'm going to go back to our tab here. Um, let's use teacher unit teacher support. Um, teacher vocabulary cards just as an example and now you kind of notice this uh, web address here has changed if we go up there that's the teacher vocabulary cards okay so everything you're opening over here is actually opening up on this tab back here okay but it does work um, even the interactive whiteboards which you aren't going to open up on your iPad, but they um, are accessible if, you know, you some reason going to download those, you can download them, but they, you know, you're not going to access, but everything is going to be accessible. It just is kind of hidden behind the original tab. So even um, unit student resources, student edition audio okay you see that notice that little tab name has changed because it's accessing a new page let's go earth resources um, what can we find on earth and then play that opens a whole new tab where the actual audio of that so that unit's audio will play so if the student had the book next to them and they could be listening along okay I'm gonna close that so hopefully that clears up a little bit of um, how that works and now we are getting it to work we're not getting that message but the key is you need to have uh, Adobe Acrobat or I'm sorry Adobe Reader installed Oops, you don't have to open it though. Um, you do have to have it installed and you do need to go in through Safari. It still does not work in Chrome. I know that's backwards from what the publishers originally told us, um, but the students can still use Chrome. Uh, student resources work fine in Chrome, but um, if you are gonna access your teacher resources on your iPad, you will need to go through Safari to get this to work correctly. And it's just gonna be a back and forth kind of game play 
from the menu to the actual resources that are opening up. So if you guys have any other questions or you're having trouble getting that to work on your iPad, please let me know. Hopefully this helps. Thanks.